and tell my baby I said hi. Oh my God, I have a lot of mothers on here that I really admire. Hey, Miss Huckleberry, how you doing? You know I miss you. I miss my sister down there in Texas, Miss Miss Huckleberry. Say hi to my baby for me. Hey, little girl. Hey, little girl. I got little kids that's watching y'all. Odessa, what a wonderful hello. Lauren, Lauren and Odessa. Oh my God, Lolita and Denise. Uh, Joan, uh, Yvette. All of my calls last night. Let me say thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Thank you for your support. Oh my God, it just, it, you know, it just overflowed. So let me tell you today, y'all know I'm using my favorite seasonings today. It's going to be that Montreal, Montreal, uh, spicy Montreal uh, seasoning from the grill mates of McCormick. And we also have the McCormick roasted garlic herb. So these are my two seasonings for today that I'm going to be using um, along with a little salt and pepper. But what we're going to be making are... Um, I call them meatloaf meatballs. So that was, that's what we're making today. Meatloaf meatballs with the little mashed potatoes to the side. That's what we're going to be making. I think my mashed potatoes, I think my potatoes might be a little bit ready. Because you know, I don't want to wait till I get on here to start boiling the potatoes. We'll be on all day. What's up, AKA Breezy Dion? How you doing? Oh, you know I love you, Deborah. Okay, Sharon Goldilocks Williams raising the autistic child is very challenging. Look, y'all got love on here. What's up, Tara Walters? How are you doing, Tara? You know, I, I see you guys on here, and I, and I feel so blessed. Um, I love you so much. Ike Rice all the way down there. You got the hamburger meat out. You ready? Well, while you at it, go ahead and get you some breadcrumbs. Get you some bell peppers and some onions. And if you like tomato paste, that's fine. So if you like tomato paste, go right ahead. Don't, um, don't hold off on the tomato paste if you want it, okay? So let me just say that. Um, um, so here's the other thing. Um, as I said in the interview last night, uh, my, my heart overflowed. The last time I was there, Munir was there. Um, he has passed, and his son is doing an excellent job. When Mandine called me up, Mandine had been working for Munir for, for years. I saw Mandine grow up. Mandine saw me grow into, we grew up. <laughs> and... Um, it was just amazing to sit there. I love the Nation of Islam. They have been so good to me. Minister Farrakhan is so inspiring. Um, and, and so I want to be very clear. Uh, if you don't have respect for all religions, you better get ready. You better get ready. Because, because your heart is what really matters. And so uh, everyone knows that when I first came to Chicago, at some point I ended up homeless. and. I parked my car as close as I could get it to Mr. Farrakhan house because that's the safest place in Chicago. I don't care what nobody say, okay? So, just so y'all know that. Uh, what's up, Regina Kane? You saw that. Y'all saw the interview. You were, y'all came in droves, okay? It was beautiful, and I thank you for it. Can, uh, uh, Eric, will you pass me a piece of basil off the, um, out there, out of my basil uh, garden? I need a little piece of basil for my drink. So, we're going to get started. Uh, I'm going to break this, uh, this beef out, and uh, we're going to get started. Since y'all know we really can't wash this here beef, we're going to say a prayer. Lord, please help us in Jesus' name with this beef, because you know we need your help, Jesus. Uh, Hazel told us she was going to quit if we didn't sing her song. So let me sing Hazel's song before she quit again. Okay, this has been a rough day for Hazel and the wife. They have not gotten along. So let me just say right now, it's been a rough day over here for these two. They have not gotten along. And um, and and I don't know what to do with them. Eric gave me some leaves. He didn't even give me no whole thing. He just passed me a few leaves. He ain't playing with me. Am I running out of basil? <laughs> Am I running out of basil out there? I, I, I'll go with this here, these three leaves you brought me. These three leaves. Okay, what y'all saying? Just curious if you reached out to the Food Network, baby girl. You... You'd be fantastic with your own show for real. Oh, Claudie, thank you, Sister Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. You could have been me. Ooh, you got a big old piece. I need that. Try to stick it. Well, put it over there on the side. We'll use it for garnish when we finish. We don't want to be messing up that much. Be careful what you ask for, huh, Eric? Be like, I'll give you a piece of goddamn. <laughs> I'll give your ass a piece. Oh, I love you.
strawberries. Oh my goodness. Amen. Amen. Uh uh. Hazel trying to get unemployed. Hmm. She ain't gonna get unemployment over here. So uh okay. So let's have our drink. Let's have our cocktail. We are getting ready for better love yourself. I almost didn't make it today, y'all. I almost didn't make it. But them two helpers, they got started arguing. So let's have a toast. Cheers to to love, to peace, to happiness, and to grace and mercy. Cheers. Ooh, amen. The heart condition better be in tip-top shape. I see what you're saying, Hazel. Okay. Eric just walked out. He's going to be back in a few minutes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this meat out and we're going to get started with Hazel's song. Let's pray to God that I don't piss off, okay? Put the white.
just for the fr just for Hazel. Y'all, when I tell you she is wreaking more havoc and hell than Carter got oaks, I want you to understand. It's been rough up in here. And when I say it's been rough up in here, it's been rough up in here. I mean, this morning, her and the wife, they got started this morning. It wasn't nothing nice. All I can say, hold on to your draws. Wife. Oh, wife. Bougie wife. Who's your wife that came What? Out? Oh my God, Hazel, stop calling my name. Bougie wife. <laughs> you know your name, huh? Get up, gal. Don't want that man to think I'm you're lazy. I'm not bougie. I'm tired. You're lazy. Get up. No. Mr. Just Why do you have to come up here with that vacuum cleaner? You have to come up here with the vacuum cleaner because somebody got to clean up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See what's going on? Do you all see what's happening? All I got to say is that it has not been a nice situation up in this house. So I just wanted to let y'all, I just wanted to hip y'all to what's going on. I don't shoot the messenger. The messenger don't have nothing to do with it. All I know is that it's getting rough up in here. It's getting rough up in here. Okay. Kirk said, Hazel, how can you do it, baby? Not nice. <laughs> you think she can? Did Hazel just do the chicken leg dance? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Laura said, Hazel better be glad that the wife is a sex machine. Oh, my God, I'm on the floor. Robin, you think so, girl? I don't know, girl. Somebody said their feet, okay? Good evening, Lolita. So y'all see what I'm dealing with over here? I just want y'all to see what's going on up in this house. Cause people will be like, no, Teresa, no, everything's so nice. I'm telling y'all, and neither one of them rap tight. Nobody rap tight for here. Nobody. Oh Lord, time just flying. Okay, y'all, so look here. I'm gonna tell y'all to take this big old piece of meat and I want y'all to add your bell peppers and your onions to this meat here. Yeah? That's what I want you to do. Add your bell peppers and your onions to this meat. That's what I want you to do. Yes. Mash it all up in there. Make sure, I don't want them, you see me taking, I'm taking some big chunks of onions out. I don't want them to be, you know, too large, too huge, okay? Move on to the next song, y'all crazy. 
Bobby say, I'm out done. Donna Green said, you need a TV show. Ah, oh, y'all so crazy. What's up, dog, Marie? <laughs> you at work trying not to scream, Erica. Girl, I'm living with you. Hazel is no joke. I'm telling y'all, Hazel is no joke. So that's what we're dealing with over here. Hazel last. Hazel last, okay? No RDS. Oh, Lord, here she go trying to get in on the show, girl. It's always, it's always one of them trying to start. get ready to add anything else so i'm gonna put that right over there how y'all doing let me check on y'all you can get your mary Kay products free from me for singing lessons <laughs> Woo! just looking out of the window oh girl was like who is that trying to sell me pam 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 is you selling me something what you selling me sis you selling me some mary Kay? okay so just let everybody on the line know that pam pam he is on this line and she sells Mary Kay. So you guys, if you're into Mary Kay, Pam Pam is the one y'all need to hit up, okay? Let me just make that real clear. All right, so 
Right now, I'm fixing to grab these potatoes over here. Because you know you don't want your potatoes to sit too long. If they sit too long, you're going to be in trouble. I'm going to go on and put them in the container. There we go. Alright. I'm going to pull up another song while we work on these taters. So let me tell y'all. These taters are specifically for John. Let me see. Let me stop this. I don't know what's going on over here. Okay, hold on. While we keep it on moving. Keep it on moving. Ooh, moving in my heart. Y'all remember that song? Every now and then. Remember this. I can feel him moving, moving, moving. I can feel him moving, moving, moving. Moving on the altar of my heart. Every now and then. I took y'all back, didn't I? I took y'all back to West Hill. Y'all like, dang, she went way back. Y'all know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to put a little bit of... Of this Montreal roasted garlic and herb seasoning in these potatoes. Now, I'm going to tell everybody, when you boil your potatoes, put a little salt in them here. Yeah? Put your little salt in your potatoes so you'll know where you're going with them, all right? And then I'm going to add this here butter. I use salted butter because I want the butter to go on and do what it's going to do up in these potatoes. These are going to be extra buttery. All right, let's move on. Okay. What we got over here? You know, I don't normally stop, but I need to, I need to stop for just a second. You all, please pardon me on this end right here. Let me tell you why I need to stop. Because I need something else up here. I apologize. So for everybody that's, don't get upset with me, I need this to happen. Hold on. Hold on. It ain't the end of the world. Well, y'all gonna be real mad. You think you're mad right now? Hold on. You be real mad if I get this here wrong. So let me do this right. Start this over. Okay. Thank you. So when you see something acting a fool, you have to work on it. Just a little bit. Measure for measure. Your love so much pleasure. Love me, you know, you know, you know how to make 
love me tonight. You wanna say you know how to love me? You're the real that I feel never go away. I need some milk. to understand what I'm going through in this house with Hazel. Well, let me stop this before something else happens. Um, Hazel has decided that she is going to bully me. And that's not going to happen for long. These potatoes is done. Now, I know I would love to finish. Y'all know I would love to finish right damn at seven o'clock but it's not going to happen because i have to hurry up and get this meat done so let me show you the meatballs right quick i got the potatoes ready so this is what you're going to do and let me find a house tune that we can bounce to while we're doing it hold on, let me feed, let me read what everybody's saying uh we singing you can't hear us oh good good lauren you all have y'all have y'all said thank you to lauren for starting our tea time club lauren is off the chain starting that tea time club she is really off the chain really really such a sweet spirit and i'm so happy okay let me get my request in while i'm at it it's gonna be hard by the way everyone who donated to bly i put your name on um on our scrolling thing that we have or our acknowledgement page that we have for better love yourself so on sunday sunday i want you to join us for this amazing uh, computer virtual event for better love yourself so if you could do that that would be great that would be great um i did it i got it okay so let me move on and let's see i gotta get my request in and um let me look and see the four is tying 
is the, I don't know what that is, aka Breezy. Um, yeah, so everyone who donated, and let me tell you, Block um, block 34, I think I got it right, Block 34, with Breezy and uh, the Drink Divas, oh my God, they came through amazingly, amazingly. Uh, Brenda Edwards, amazing. Oh my God, I'm going to get in trouble. Um, my volunteer team, they are absolutely amazing. From Moxie to Terrence to Terry um, to Benita to, oh my goodness, I'm going to screw up. Uh, Darlene, Devereaux, Mom uh, uh, Althea, oh my God, Sherry, um, oh my goodness, um, Katrina, uh, little girl, you know who I'm talking about. Um, we have a team of people who have been working for a really long time, Terrace. And then we started talking about the other cities, Osna. Um, um, I'm about to start crying. Osna, um, Monday, Osna is Monroe, Louisiana. Um, then there is uh, St. Louis, which is Damon Green and Darlene um, Coward. And then there is Monday, Workman Swoops in Cleveland, along with Ron Johnson. And um, that's in Cleveland. And then we have uh, a new city with Gloria. Um, oh, my God. Uh, and Hank. So Hank Stewart is a part of this and, and my and my good go girlfriend, Gloria. And thank you all so much. So, uh, so I'm, I'm block 24. I'm so sorry, block 24. I'm, I, I don't know why I want to say 34, but we're at room 43. Uh, that's where we're having this big fire truck and we're going to put a stage out there for the kids to kind of feel like they're graduating. It's going to be a great day. So thank you, everyone. Um, you have no idea how amazing you are. All of you who have donated from Joan Brown. Oh my God, we've had several donations uh, from so many people. And so I, I've kept a record of it and I will definitely have your names included on that day on our page that, you know, we'll, it's gonna roll all day. And I thank you all for your for your lovely gifts and, and, your, and your, um, your, you're the wind with beneath my wings. This is pure. Thank you.
in the mess of what's going on. We want you to know that we're behind you. singing this okay so now that you saw me mixing the egg i've got i want to put a little bit of tomato in here just a little bit of tomato i have it all ready put a little bit of tomato here how y'all doing yes sing it, sis. thank you righteous thank you betty how you doing betty i'm putting a little bit of tomatoes up in here okay some people don't like it that way but i do and i'm just putting a little i'm just putting a little bit of tomato in here let me tell you what's gonna happen Right about now, I'm going to add just a little bit. I know y'all don't normally do this, but these are my meatloaf balls. And I just like to add a little bit of tomato in here. If you're going to use tomato paste, I don't know why you're against the tomato, okay? So anyway, I just put a little bit up in there. Just a little bit, okay? All right. The last part of what I put in my, my secret ingredients. I don't want to hear it from nobody, okay? My last little bit. It's Parmesan. Okay. I'm going to add this up in here. Okay. Oh, my goodness. 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 Okay. So, let me tell you what I do. Put it to the side. I put some of it in, and then the other I put on the side. Let me tell you why. Because at the end, I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll this meatball Notice what I said. I'm going to roll this meatball into the Parmesan, and then I'm going to stick it in the oven. Okay? And then I will share with you, <laughs> I'm going to share with you in the Tea Time Cookbook, the rest of it. I'm going to share the picture, too, so y'all can see the picture. But I'm going to share the rest of it in the Tea Time Cookbook. By the way, by the way, today we have just stepped into phase three of the cookbook and there are five phases and so now i am literally ready to make my meatloaf meatball now what you're going to see me taking out is if i think any of the onions have too big of a chunk in it i'm going to take them out but i'm going to roll them like this okay let's do a little what y'all saying hey bert what's up laria that's right i want everybody to vote what's up sandrea how you doing vote as congressman john r lewis said did you all watch the funeral today? And if you did, see, these are pretty good size, okay? These are pretty good size. These are meatloaf balls, okay? They're meatloaf balls because you want them to be pretty when you put them on the top, okay? So you want them to be nice and pretty when you put them on the top. But you just roll them like a ball, a nice ball. And then the last part of what you're going to roll them in is the Parmesan. So on the outer part, you'll have the Parmesan. Oh my God, this is looking so good. And it's smelling good too, okay? What's up, Robert? How about another song? Let me tell y'all. Okay, so let me put y'all in the mindset uh, of where I was when I, when I wrote, because a lot of people have asked me this question, what was going on with Naked Soul? When I was writing it, what was I thinking? And you know, I, I have to tell you, I, I, I was in a very um, single hurting place healing. And uh, and that is why I think a lot of people really in, enjoy it. Um, um, a lot of people can really enjoy it. But when I wrote Talk About Love, because they were comparing the two CDs, they asked me, where was I with Talk About Love? And I'll tell you, finally on the other side, uh, of accepting that this is who I am. When I finally, when I wrote Revival of Soul, it was, I'm tired of being in a place where people can hurt me 
thank God I'm in another place. Even though you can still experience pain, you know it's not going to be where it was before. And so that's what Talk About Love is about. And that's why it's so different, but still kin to my own soul. Hey, Miss T. Meepo's all ready to die for it. Thanks for the shout out. You're welcome, Maria. Hey, Danella, how are you? Oh, my voice is relaxing. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep rolling these buttons, y'all. Then we'll come back and talk to y'all. You feel the enchantment 
is everything. Oh, y'all look at my refrigerator. <laughs> y'all so funny. Oh my God, hold on. Let me stop this. Let me stop this. Let me see what's going on. Oh, let me see what's going on. Are they still having it out? Let me tell y'all, they've been at it all day. All day. The wife and Hazel, the two of them have been in it all day. And when I tell you I don't know what to do about the two of them, I am so tired of them arguing and carrying on. I don't know what to do. Let me tell y'all something. I, okay, so what happened was the wife been resting all day. But y'all know Hazel is kind of mean and surly. And so she just keep messing with her, baby. We don't know what's going to happen. Yes. Yeah. Say yeah. If I were you, I would say yes. yes. Speak, Lord. Speak to me. Oh. I wish the Lord would speak Gail. to me. Gail. Shut up. Gail. Shut up, Jesus. I got your toilet paper out here. Straight from Jesus. Yes, Shut I do. Up. Y'all use so much toilet paper in this house. Yes, you do. Lord, have mercy. What's going on? Oh, you got to wipe that down. Oh, toilet paper. Help them, Jesus. Help them, Lord. Yeah. Now, I got your toilet paper. You done had everybody shopping in. I got you a whole. Shit, I got you 30. I got you 30 rolls. <laughs> yeah. Gal, now you asked me to bring you some toilet paper, then your ass ain't gonna answer. All right, I'll take this toilet paper and sell it on the corner. I let me 30 rolls <laughs> these days. I can give me some money for them 30 she rolls. She she won't sell them the oh, really? Let me see, I can sell them for five dollars a roll. Oh, hallelujah! And it's charming too. I guess that man do love you, gal. You got the dog in there with you too, huh? Yes, the dog. You ain't doing a Tamar Braxton, are you? The dog. <laughs> now, that ain't funny. That is not funny. All right, Will. Who is she talking? Gal? Oh, you got the dog else in front of you? I know you hate me. Ooh, I, I know you hate me. I know you hate me, my lie. Ah. I'm taking the toilet paper with me since your ass ain't answering here. Yeah? God bless you. Yes, I said God. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, so let me tell y'all. Sometimes when I come back, it don't come back that quick. But I want y'all to understand what I was saying. And what I was saying is the wife. The wife. If somebody told me I got 50 on the wife, I did it. They already saw it. Eric running in here talking about the sound. You can't hear me. It's too late. Don't worry about it. I got it now. 30 seconds. They was like, hey! It's a 30 second delay. So for 30 seconds, y'all ain't gonna hear nothing. That's what's gonna happen. Cheers. Mm. Lord have mercy. Let me get a little more water. Y'all, it's already 7 o'clock. And we still up in here messing around. I'm gonna mess around with y'all for a little bit longer. Since the stuff is in there, I done put the meatballs, the meatloaf meatballs in the oven. Now, y'all know y'all ain't never heard no meat no meatloaf meatballs. So, if you do, you know somebody is stealing, okay? Let me say that. Tara, all I got to say is they don't get along. And it's Hazel's fault. Because y'all saw how she be carrying on with us. 
That's every day she got to get up with that damn vacuum cleaner acting a fool. And I don't think the wife is ready to be taking that no more. The wife is sick of her. I'm going to be honest. The wife is sick of her. So, so y'all just, just know that, okay? Let me see where I'm going to be at with this here. I spent half of my time laughing and giggling with y'all. These people trying to have a fight up in here. Y'all better pray for Hazel because I got 50 on the wife, okay? I got 50 on the wife. And why wouldn't I bet on me? I'm going to always bet black, boo. Okay, so let me just say this. We will be in the confessional trying to make sure that we all stay 
in the right mental health. And uh, in that meantime, since it's Thursday, I just want to leave y'all with your, with your absolute, you know, I don't even know what to say about you, except I don't want to have to be without you. I don't ever want to have to be without any of you. You are such a blessing to me. Pray for me on Saturday. As you all know, I don't, I don't go out. We are trying everything to make sure that we stay safe. We've got masks and hand sanitizers and, oh my God, all sorts of things just to make sure that we stay safe, um, make sure the kids stay safe. So you guys make sure you, you support us on Sunday. Please support us on Sunday. Support Better Love Yourself on Sunday. We need you. We, we appreciate you. We appreciate all of your dollars. We also want to thank People's Energy. We thank you so much, People's Energy. We want to thank uh, Darn, uh, uh, Don and Marcella. Darn and Marcella. I'm so tired. Don and Marcel, I thank you. You guys are so amazing. Your foundation. I want to thank Gloria Brooks and her foundation.
See you on Sunday. <laughs>